Hey, what's up, YouTube land? It's your boy, Eddie Hill, the White Oak, Pennsylvanian toy collector. It's time for another Eddie Hill review. It's review time, people. And today, we'll be reviewing another knockoff Transformers called Morph X. And they're like jet transforming figures that are remote controlled. But yes, this is my second one I have. The first one I have is like a star screen color. But before we get on to looking at the figure itself, we're going to talk about this a little bit. This was a figure I got from Five Below and I only paid like five bucks for him. You control them and they roll around and transform, which is a fun line to transform and roll around. But now that it's been a minute, we're going to look at the packaging before we take it out of the box. Got a nice product shot of the robot mode. 27 RPM, ages 8 plus. High speed, two-way remote control. Forward, backs. One button transforms. Okay, and we're looking at the back of the box. More product shots of how it transforms. It's just that easy and simple. But now that we've looked at the box, let's look at our figure itself. First, we're going to turn it on and roll it around. As soon as I flip the switch on, let's see what this baby can do. So I just turned this thing on. Uh, that's off. Turned it off. That's to transform it. If it goes forward, goes back. And it does move around slightly. And now that we've shown off what it can do when it drives, we're going to transform it. We're going to press this button right here. And there we go. He's in his robot mode, looking very intimidating. He's like a Dreadwing kind of colors with him. Transform him back, press the button, and there you go. He's in his jet mode again. Then we transform him again. Now we can move him forward even in robot, in vehicle mode. But now I'm going to dig out something he can actually crash into. So let's go into my figure bin. Let's have him run down Megatron from the Dollar General line. Let's see if he can hit him down in one shot. Let's see if we can knock down Megatron. I order you to obey me, Treadwing. Never. <laughs> he knocked down Megatron with a single roll. Yeah. <laughs> that is just so much fun. But now that we're done with messing around with his remote control gimmick, we're going to get out for comparison the other one we own. Which is very simple, just like this one, transform simply, except mine is not working properly. Hey, what's up YouTube land? It's your boy, Eddie Hill, the White Oak, Pennsylvanian toy collector. It's time for another Eddie Hill review. It's review time, people. And today we'll be reviewing Another knockoff Transformers called Morph X. And they're like jet transforming figures that are remote controlled. But yes, this is my second one I have. The first one I have is like a star screen color. But before we get on to looking at the figure itself, we're going to talk about this a little bit. This was a figure I got from five below and I only paid like five bucks for him you control them and they roll around and transform which is a fun line to transform and roll around but now that it's been a minute we're going to look at the packaging before we take it out of the box got a nice product shot of the robot mode 27 rpm ages eight plus high speed Two-way remote control, forward, backs, one button, transforms. Okay, and we're going to look at the back of the box. 
more product shots of how it transforms. It's just that easy and simple. But now that we've looked at the box, let's look at our figure itself. First, we're gonna turn it on and roll it around. As soon as I flip the switch on, let's see what this baby can do. So I just turn this thing on. Uh, that's off. Turned it off. That's to transform it. If it goes forward, goes back. And it does move around slightly. And now that we've shown off what it can do when it drives, we're going to transform it. We're going to press this button right here. And there we go. He's in his robot mode, looking very intimidating. He's like a Dreadwing kind of colors with him. Transform him back, press the button, and there you go. He's in his jet mode again. Then we transform him again. Now we can move him forward even in robot, in vehicle mode. But yeah, that is just so cool, right? But now I'm gonna dig out something he can actually crash into. So let's go into my figure bin. Let's have him run down Megatron from the Dollar General line. Let's see if he can hit him down in one shot. Let's see if he can knock down Megatron. I order you to obey me, Treadwing. Never. He knocked down Megatron with a single roll. Yeah. <laughs> that is just so much fun. But now that we're done with messing around with his remote control gimmick, we're going to get out for comparison the other one we own. Which is very simple. Just like this one, transform simply. Except mine is not working properly. And yeah, he works like the same way once you get them into place. They are the exact same figure. The only difference is his color. One has a movie Starscream kind of color, I will admit, from the Michael Bay universe. And the other one has a Dreadwing kind of color, which I love. Do I highly recommend these Morphex Transforming Robot Jets? Yes, they are a lot of fun. If you can find these at your local Five Below, pick them up. They are just so much fun. And I picked up both of these as a set. And they are worth the money. They are so cool. But before I move on and rock on and rock out, we are going to be going to the toy show in November 10th. So we won't be going to three locations this next couple of months. We'll be saving our money for none other than the toy show here in Pittsburgh at Century 3 area, Toyapalooza. So we're going to our second one of that. It'll be on November 10th. So yeah, we'll be saving up 100 bucks. So we're heading to the Goodie Well, not just once, but twice in two months. So yeah, we're going to be looking for nothing but figures we can get from those two stores the last a couple months. So yeah. And I look forward to showing you what I come out with with a hundred bucks. One of that. It'll be on November 10th. So yeah, we'll be saving up a hundred bucks. So we're heading to the Goodie Well, not just once, but twice in two months. So yeah, we're gonna be looking for nothing but figures we can get from those two stores the last a couple months. So yeah. And I look forward to showing you what I come out with with a hundred bucks at that toy show. Before I move on and rock on and rock out, if you enjoyed this video as much as I enjoyed making it, please make sure to like, please make sure to comment, and don't forget to subscribe for more videos like this. And if you're wondering how much these figures cost a piece, Five bucks, ten bucks a piece, ten bucks for both of them. And now this is Eddie Hill.
Moving on and rock on and rock out YouTube land.